Hi again, welcome back to my channel SRE with Ben. Today we are going to learn about how to install an AppDynamics Node.js agent. Let's get started. Firstly, let's go ahead and create an AppDynamics SaaS account. Type in AppDynamics account. Go to their official site and click on start a free trial. Here you would have to fill your um, details to create an account. So go ahead and uh, do that. First name, last name, uh, company email, your organization name, job title, phone number, and password. So one thing to note here is this account cannot be created using your Gmail account. You will have to use your organization ID to create a trial account. So go ahead and do that. I have already done that. So let me log into my AppDynamics controller. Once you have created an account and uh, you log into the controller, this is how your screen will look. So right now I don't have any monitoring enabled on my uh, SaaS account, so everything is empty. So we will be installing a Node.js app agent and linking it to this SaaS account. Before that, we would need a Node.js application to link it to AppDynamics. If you already have a Node.js application and if you're just looking to find out the steps to install the agent, I suggest you skip to the second part of this video where I instruct on how to install the agent. If you do not have a Node.js application, please follow along. To set up a Node.js application, I'll be using a free version that is already available on the internet. So go ahead and search for Node Express Cart. And you'll, you will get an Express Cart NPM site. Open this site. And uh, you can uh, install this using Git. So this is a uh, freeware application that is available on the internet. This is developed using Node.js. Once you download this, you will get a zip folder and you'll have to extract it. Here I have downloaded the application and extracted it. Once I extract it, this is how the file structure will look like. For this application to run, there are certain dependencies that you'll have to first do. First thing is you should have a Node.js installed in your system. So go ahead and do that. Just go to Google, type Node.js download and install it. It's pretty straightforward. Then the next thing you would need is a MongoDB server. So go ahead to Google and type MongoDB download and download it and install. That is also straightforward. Then the steps to install this application is given here. If you, if you would uh, read through this site, you will be able to install it. But uh, don't worry, I will be going through the steps on how to set up this application. To set up the application, first thing you would have to do is open the Node.js command prompt and uh, cd into the location where you have extracted the application files. So let me go ahead and do that. So I have come to the location where my files have been extracted. Now the, the next thing you would have to do is first run a command called npm install. This will make sure all the necessary um, dependencies for the applications are installed. After this command executes, you will have to run few more commands to set up the application properly. So next command would be npm fun to fix some vulnerabilities. The next command would be npm audit fix. Once this command is run, your dependencies are set up properly. Now let us set up the test data for your application so that our application can give you some dummy data. So you will have to run npm run test data. Make sure your MongoDB is running while you run this test data command so that your test data is set up properly. Once your test data is set up, you are ready to run the application now. The application is set up properly. To run the application, all you have to do is type node space app.js. App.js is your startup script for the application. So we are going to go ahead and run it to make sure the application is working as expected. You can see now the application has started and it's running on localhost 1111. So let's go ahead and open it. Here we go. Our application is set up on the local host and uh, it's working as expected. Now let's go ahead and install the AppDynamics agent for this application. To install the app agent in an easy way, first let's go to getting started visit on our SaaS account and click on getting started visit. Then let us identify the 
agent that we would like to install. We are going to install the Node.js agent. So I'm going to click on Node.js under Applications. Next up, um, we have some prerequisites to go ahead. So please go through that. And um, verify that your controller host and port is correct. So this is my controller host and my port is correct. In your SAS account, your this host will change. The port will remain the same. First, we'll have to create an application name. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me name this node.js underscore app and create a tire for it. Name it app tire and click on continue. Once you click on continue, scroll down, you would see the instructions on how to install the agent. We would have to first run this npm install app dynamics command to make sure the required dependencies are set up in our local node.js application. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not going to give the version name here. I'm just going to give npm install app dynamics. I suggest you do that too, unless you have a specific requirement. App dynamics dependencies have been installed now. Let's go ahead to the next step. The next step is to copy paste this code inside your startup script. So if you are doing it on any other Node.js application and if you are not very sure which is the startup script, make sure you ask your admin of that application or the support team for what which is the startup script so that you can paste this code inside there. So I'm going to copy it now and I'm going to paste it in my app.js. The copied code must be pasted in the first line of the startup script before any other dependencies are declared. So let me do that. I've pasted the code and I'm going to save it. Verify the controller and account details and the app details. Once you have copy pasted the code, we can go ahead and run the startup script to start our application and check whether it's reporting to our controller. To run the application, again, let us go ahead and type node space app.js and click enter. Now let's wait for the application to start. My application has started running now. So let me go ahead and check in the controller whether the agent is reporting. So when I scroll down, I can see that the agent started connect, connecting to this controller and it's waiting for data. So let me go ahead and generate some load in the application. I'm going to go ahead and randomly generate some load so that these transactions are captured by AppDynamics. I have generated enough load on this application, so let's go ahead in our controller and verify. Let's go to application section. You can see here the new uh, Node.js underscore app has been created, and you can see some metrics have started capturing already. Let me go ahead and open that. You can see the call graph as generated now. Um, you see an X mark here since we don't have an agent in the MongoDB, but our app is green. So it's reporting and you can see some load, response, errors, and all those details. So let me go ahead and check my business transaction health. Right, so my transactions are captured here and even the call graphs are captured. This is how you install a uh, Node app agent in AppDynamics. Uh, we will be talking about uh, business transaction and other details that you see here in future upcoming videos. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. If there are any queries, do let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.